I'm Owen White. I'm director of informatics at the School of Medicine. And as most people are aware, there's a lot of new generation sequencing technologies that are out there. Uh, what people may not be aware of is the amount of computational and bioinformatics support that's required to make use of that data. With volumes of data that are coming off the sequencers now, it's really not possible to make any type of analysis. Um, without structuring that data into databases and developing data management practices that allow the bi biologist to make sense of that information. Uh, this is a really exciting time because there's a lot of new developments in the areas of high performance computing, um, new algorithm development, large scale data storage uh, and data management processes that are going on. And uh, it's a very exciting era for anybody who's entering into this field. Bioinformatics is a section of a larger field called informatics, which is essentially any type of computer processing of data sets that are being generated um, in large volume. And it includes everything uh, involving uh, computational algorithm development, statistical uh, techniques, um, just general uh, processing and new techniques for finding information in sequence of that kind and also visualization. There's really been a very exciting explosion recently of all the data that's coming off of the next generation sequencing devices and the only way that we can really make use of that data is unless we ap apply new bioinformatics approaches to um, analyze that data, to view that data, and to so store and, and manage that information in a comprehensive way. And what this means is that there's an even higher demand of people who are trained in this area to be able to analyze and make use of that information. And I think that there's a lot of very exciting opportunities about being here. Um, we are uh, engaged in cutting edge development of new algorithms, new data management and data storage procedures of all the DNA sequence information that's being generated here and elsewhere. It's a very exciting time in the field in general because there's a, a large uh, shift away from sequencing individual organisms and looking at organisms that are present in uh, different environments as well as organisms that live in association with human. And all this is going to yield really new and exciting insights into biology.